What's up? DOTG here and today we have the bodega. Not those bodegas from New York City, the corner stores, but the bodega cooler. Now I was actually really excited to test this bodega cooler out. Not only because of the wheels, the ruggedness, the independently dual zones, or the, the pull out handle, but because it actually fits really nice in my box truck, AKA Studio A. Welcome to my home. I am off grid 24 seven, so you may hear some cars drive by, I, my apologies. So you really could be roughing it, quote unquote, out there in the wilderness with 80 quarts or 75 liters of space for all of your perishables. Now, a lot of people ask me what cooler or freezer I should get. And for me, it's always the same. I always think try to get the biggest one you can to where your budget allows only because I like to stay off grid and not have to visit the grocery store every couple of days. With the 80 quarts, I've been able to sustain for three weeks if I plan it out correctly. Here we have the control panel and let's go ahead and take this off. Oh yeah, so satisfying. Now we have the freezer side and the refrigerator side and it indicates here L and R for left and right, plus and minus to adjust. And it also has a USB port right here, which is nice and convenient. You just plug right in here if you want to. Nice that it has the instructions right here, it takes the guesswork right out of it. It also has a Bluetooth app as well, so you can control the freezer and refrigerator right on your phone. As far as product dimension, it's going to be 21 inches by 36.9 by 18.5, and it's 65 pounds. But keep in mind, it has wheels and a handle. Now check out this finish. It's like that truck bed liner, Rhino X, Line X. I've been living with it for three weeks now, stepping on it every single day to get onto bed. And I don't see one single scratch on here at all. Not only that, these doors are interchangeable. So let's say it doesn't work opening this way in your camper van, Jeep, van. Um, you can slap it on the other side, just like this. So you could have either side opening up. That's a nice feature and really thoughtful. So in terms of size, the left zone is gonna be 48 quarts and the right zone is gonna be 32 quarts, equaling 80 quarts. So it also has app control and volt protection. You can also put this on low, medium, and high, max or eco mode. This is my freezer side. Ooh. So it also comes with two baskets as well. And as you can see, this is how much it can carry. Full size pizzas too, if you like. On the inside, sorry, I got little crumbs and stuff. LED light right here. A little recess spot for your hand to go. So the ergonomics are great. Even the handle feels really nice and solid when you snap it back. You hear that? Pop this open. This is gonna be my refrigerator side and this basket also comes out. There you go. And of course they're all, they're both gonna have drain plugs as well. So if you get this wet, you can just undo this and it completely drains out. Nice and useful, thoughtful design. Take a look at the inside. Real nice. I love that it's like anti-scratch. My old refrigerator that I have reviewed before is completely screwed up from scratches, everyday use of me stepping on it and yada yada, dragging it around. I don't see the same with this one. Like I cannot scratch, put a dent in this thing. So it feels very well made. Like I mentioned, I have been living with it now for three weeks and I haven't had any problems. Let's go ahead and slide these back in. Just like that. That's really nice to have the basket because you can pull it out, clean the bottom. And on the other side, and you drop in the basket just like this. has a nice affirmative clasp. Now, opposite from the handle side, you have a bottle opener. The other handle, of course, you have your power input, either AC or 12 volt, and those cables do come included. There's also a solar input, so you don't even need a battery. You can plug your solar panels right into this, which is awesome. I love the flexibility of this, and check out the vents here. I like that it's downward sloping, so you don't see the guts, but you could feel the warm air coming out. This is the intake I feel like, and there are more on this side as well. You see how it's integrated with a downward sloping vent. You don't see the interior guts. I like that action. 
So when putting this in your, your Jeep, car, van, RV, or whatever you got, of course, make sure there's plenty of ventilation here. You don't want to completely close up these vents. It's going to have a hard time breathing. So make sure there's enough space. So this is my fridge section. A lot of space, 32 quarts here. Of course, you know, you got to have your Jimmy Dean on deck, a couple veggies and fruits. Just give you a rough idea of what you can actually fit in here. And on the freezer side, it is large enough to fit an entire pizza box, which is clutch for me because I love these things. I know I shouldn't be eating them, but there's also so much more space in here. It just keeps going down. So these 80 quarts for me have been clutch. It's nice that I don't have to go grocery shopping as often. That way I can be off grid for that much longer. I always like seeing other people set up, so I'll show you mine. This is where the bodega 80 quart lives. And when it comes time to use, I simply pull it out, have full access to my freezer and my fridge. And because it's on wheels, it's nice and easy just to slide right back in. Or when it comes time to get up on the bed, simply step up here and I'm up. So that's going to do it for the bodega. So far, this has been my absolute favorite cooler for the ruggedness, for the large capacity for the dual zones, for the opposite facing doors if you want to, just like that. For the wheels, for the extended handle, for you to pull this. To the five year warranty, to the fit and finish. So far the Bodega Cooler has fit my needs just fine, has been nothing short of amazing. So thank you so much for watching the video guys and thank you for joining me in my home and box truck. Thank you for all the likes, loves, and comments. It really does help the YouTube algorithm for new people to discover my channel. And until next time, peace.